Are tattoos always a red flag, or does placement and reason matter? <laughs> yes. Just, 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 hit, it, just hit it and quit it? Yes. Well, well why don't we put that across to the panel? Um, Anthony, yeah, what's yeah. your thoughts on that? Uh, I don't. I, I would disagree with what Donovan was just saying. I don't think it's always a red flag. Well, it's always a sign of trauma, I think, on women. So on men, it could also be a sign of trauma, but on men, it's badass usually. So it's a good thing. On women, I think it's usually not a good thing almost 100% of the time. But you need to try to analyze it and look at it and what like what the fuck are you looking at? Mm -hmm. So for example, you know, in my case, Medusa, uh, you know, from my you know, ex-wife thing, she had no uh, no tattoos, but she's super fucked up. Well, what does that mean? It means she was hiding all the trauma. Women who get a bunch of tattoos are not hiding it. They're showing you who they are. So you know you have a better idea what you're dealing with. So red flag, eh. You need to look at it and try to figure out what you're looking at. What do you think, Carl? I think it's a mixed bag. It's not as easy as a yes, no question, because, you know, some girl gets, you know, uh, her, her, they, her uh, mom died or something tattooed in some small, inconspicuous location. I don't think that's necessarily a sign of anything bad, but it, tattoos and piercings and hair color are like three major ways women signal, you know, I'm fucked up. If she's covered in tattoos with a ton of piercings and she has neon green hair, I'm sorry, that's a, that's a false rape charge waiting to happen. So it's just one of those things. You have to make a judgment on it. But, you know, tramp stamps, generally a slut tell. Yep. Uh, nipple piercings, tongue piercings, generally slut tells. Nose. Uh, you know, there's, you know, any tattoo, like I think the ultimate slut tell tattoo is this uh, porn star Claire something who has hit it harder tattooed over her pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have to look at where are they drawing attention to? Yeah. Um, a friend of mine once said we were, you know, we kind of had this conversation. He said, you know, women that have uh, thumb ring smoke, uh, lots of visible tattoos and tongue piercings are usually the dirtiest in bed, but they also come with a shitload of problems. So I tend to agree with what the panel's saying. Uh, visible tattoos, like Anthony was saying, they tend to be like um, obvious markers of trauma, whereas he, you know, he didn't spot any visible tattoos on Medusa. But um, I mean, I've always stayed away from women with visible tats. I mean, there's women that, that have, um, I'm going to say tasteful concealed tats or, yeah, you know, yeah. one or two, which is okay. But if you're like, uh, what the hell is her name? Uh, Tess Holiday, like on that cover, and she's got like tats all over her body. Uh -huh. I think that Miss Piggy was one of them on her arm. It's like, yep. You know, yep. It's, just brutal. it's just brutal. Yeah. Yeah, I, know, I guess I think, I, Medusa, I think uh, uh, all her trauma in her chest. I think she carried it all in her chest. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad on the inside. Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's just. Uh, I, I guess with tattooed women, at least you know what you're dealing with. Like yeah. they're telling you that they're fucked up, which is a lot better than them being fucked up and not telling you. Yeah. Hi. How you doing, Donovan? With the um, audio system, is it working? Yeah. Uh, audio systems work and tell people to call in. Let me just give my let me just give my first uh, my quick take on this. Tattoos for me uh, on women, hundred dude, that is one hundred percent of the time. It is absolutely a slut tell. I have never met a virgin or heard of a virgin getting a tattoo. I'm sure they're out there somewhere, but they don't stay virgins for long. A tattoo, I guess, represents trauma or some sort of turning point for women. Well, trauma is a red flag, and women only destroy themselves in one way. That is sex. Hear me out on this. If a woman experiences trauma in her life, she ends up drinking a lot. Drinking leads to sex. If a woman experiences some sort of tragedy in her life and she starts drugs, drugs lead to sex. Women are only, American women are only good for sex. This is why they can only destroy themselves through sex. They use different avenues to get there, but sex is always the end game when it comes to women and self-destruction. So if she has tattoos, she is absolutely a slut. Okay, so you got your mother's birth date on your forearm or her, her death date. There are a hundred thousand other ways to honor your dead mother. By putting a tattoo on yourself, you are drawing attention to yourself. Oh, what's that, uh, what's that day for? Oh, it's my dead mother. Not trying to hear that. That's just to me, that's just an excuse to put ink into your skin. And some girls get a tattoo that's concealed, right? Well, if you're going to conceal the tattoo, then why get it at all? Oh, I know for attention. This is an this is an attention grab for women. This is why tattoos are a slut tell 100 percent of the time. Just because a girl doesn't fuck you on the first date doesn't mean she's not a slut. I mean, what girls aren't a slut? Like, 
Yeah. Okay. You know what? It's you know what? Varying degrees. Yeah, the degree varies. Yeah. Uh, exactly. All women have the capacity to behave in a very That's promiscuous true. fashion. I've had I've had women in my life that that I that I put up on a pedestal that I thought were fucking llama unicorns, and lo and behold, the right time of the month, the ovulatory shift, the right argument, the right whatever the fuck it is, it lines up. The moons of Endor, and she's out banging some guy the same night. It, all women she, have that. But if she has a tattoo, she gives it up a hell of a lot easier. Do, oh, listen, yeah. Yeah, she'll be yeah, she'll be blowing in the bathroom within twenty seconds. I am I am stealing <laughs> llama unicorns from here on out. <laughs> What's yours? Uh, oh, just like I'll, I'll be really quick here. Is um, there was a time there was a time back in the nineties where um, if you were if you had a woman and she shaved her snatch, that was niche porn. Now all women do that. Like what, every woman is like shaving it or just, you know, a landing strip or something. And that was, that was quote unquote, a slut tail for a woman to shave her, her pussy was to, you know, was a, a niche porn. Now it's, now it's just whatever. Right. But I got to ask a question. Hang on. Roll. Are, is, is, if I'm not mistaken, I think using tampons used to be a slut tail, right? Yeah, used, time ago? yeah. Well, I mean, way back in the day because you were yeah, inserting but that's something in into your area. Those, I mean, those are, yeah, well, that's not, yeah, that's, that's a little different. I mean, that's just hygiene right there, but I think school. But well, I mean, look at look at look at how things progress, though. Okay, so uh, you know th that used to be shaving your snatch was was a niche porn. Now it's not. Uh, having that belly ring, you know, having that navel piercing, that used to be. Oh man, only I, I so when that first came out and I saw chicks with that, I'm like, oh man, that's great because all I saw was strippers, you know, with that. And this is when I was younger, of course. But like, I'm like, oh, I gotta get a chick who who would get a a piercing, man. That's great. And then of course that becomes everybody and their mother has a has a, a belly piercing now okay fine now what's what now what's going to happen okay we've got uh tramp stamps oh wow those are those are hot you know only sluts get those okay okay fine and i don't see any i don't see too many women getting tramp stamps anymore i mean from where i'm where i look i mean it's the women who have them have well, had them because they've been labeled time. as tramp stamps that's yeah. why <laughs> well, tramp, stamps, tramp stamps were a really big thing back in like the late 90s and early 2000s now yeah. I don't see that's quite wedding, so cra much. wedding crashers did it yeah it up. getting uh like we were just talking about getting a tongue piercing that way you know wow that would feel good on my dick if she was sucking me and yeah, i had a, you know thing. yeah that was that was a big deal and now it's like you know maybe you see a chick like that or there's some sort of you know there's a I think there is a a difference between wanting to stand out like getting a, a, a piercing in your nose or getting a tattoo on yourself of some sorts and there's the direct slut tells there is like the the ones where okay only sluts do this only sluts shave their snatch only sluts uh you know get a belly piercing only sluts do the, the tramp slit tramp stamp it's another thing to go and get uh, uh, you know, a sleeve full of, of tats. Like you see these, what are they? Like suicide girls or something like that, where they're like, they're these hot chicks, but they're like completely covered in tats. And it's like, mm -hmm. well, I forget, I forget who said it. Like well, a hot girl with tats is like having a Lamborghini with like bumper stickers, bumper stickers. all over it. <laughs> <laughs> that's classic. Yeah, it's like a it. Lamborghini with, with bumper stickers. Yeah, why would you go and ruin that? Yeah, Jesus. Like, yeah. And so I mean, I, my, my take is, I think it just, again, it sort of depends on the chick and it sort of depends on, on how, how they go about it. Like if you go and you look at the women in Walmart and these hugely grossly overweight women, and they've got like tattoos on their legs and they're wearing like, shorts and they're showing off the tat on their legs. Like, why the fuck would you go and put one there? Yeah. And that woman is not saying, Oh, I'm a slut. She's just trying to stand out. She's trying to, trying to get into, like, I, I can remember when tattoos were only what guys got it was a masculine thing it was a masculine yep. domain and there was there are certain masculine characteristics and masculine things that guys only did that women are getting into so i was just talking with ivan about ivan or with ivan thorne about this is there was a time where women would never drink um like bourbon or they never drink whiskey or they never drink that those are men's drinks they, they drink like flu you know foofy they drink rum they drink that's, like drinks. that's yeah. fine but they wouldn't drink men's drinks now they're oh women can drink johnny walker and now you got johnny walker black label has like a chick on the label Kunis. now and so there's these there's these i guess customs i guess they're male space customs that women want to get into and say well i can have a tattoo and i got you know i got a full-on sleeve it makes me a rocker chick okay well fine a bit, whatever but you're trying to insert yourself into a male space and if that works for you fine but i think there's a difference between wanting to express your identity or wanting to stand out and then there are the the definite slut tells the definite you know what i love about these broadcast guys is we start with one topic like you know the live feminism has been selling women on the body positivity movement and then we're all of a sudden gone down another rabbit hole about tattoos <laughs> 
It's crazy. Uh, well, Donovan, what I'm wondering about though yes. is, you know, with these big girls getting tats, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of tattoo equipment. I've never seen a tattoo artist that has a fucking roller. I mean, how much, how much time would it take to put on a tat that size? That's like a two by two foot. The area you have to paint. I mean, does he charge by the hour or does he charge by the gallon? Square footage. Uh, Square footage. Square foot. It is what listen, it is. I, listen, I respect everyone's opinion, but to me, any man who doesn't, who any man who says that tattoos aren't a slut tell, that's just another way of. That, that, to me, that's just another way of maybe trying to tell themselves, okay, maybe just because just because she has a tattoo doesn't necessarily mean she's a slut. Okay, maybe all tatted girls aren't sluts, but every tatted girl I've ever seen, they're always sluts. It just means. And listen, tattoos are attention seeking, and girls who attention seek are attention seeking are, are attention seeking for male attention. Well, they're rebellious too in a lot of cases. Oh yes. Dad, if dad didn't want nose ring and tattoos, well, yeah. they get thirty. Hit the wall, well, and boom. Guess what? We already know that you know uh, attention is the coin of the realm for women. 